Kling AI just dropped their version 2.0, and I can confidently say that this is the biggest upgrade we've seen in AI video generation this year. In this video, I'll show you everything that's new, what's improved, and how you can use these powerful features to create content that stands out. Kling 2.0 comes with four major upgrades that completely transform what's possible with AI video. Now let's dive into what I think is the most revolutionary feature of this update, the multi-elements editor. Multi-elements editor is essentially video and painting on steroids. It allows you to make three types of powerful edits to your videos. First, you can swap or replace any character or object in your video with something completely different. You can add, which lets you insert new elements into your existing footage seamlessly. And you can delete, letting you remove unwanted objects or people from your videos. The most important thing you need to know is that this feature is exclusively available on Kling 1.6. When you access multi-elements, the platform will automatically switch to Kling 1.6, even if you were previously using Kling 2.0. This is crucial to understand because some users get confused when they see their model version change. Let me walk you through exactly how to use each function of the multi-elements editor. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for Kling in the description below. First, let's look at the swap function. I'm going to take this video of a man walking through a foggy street and swap him with an astronaut. Here's how we do it. I'll head over to the video section on Kling and click on the multi-elements editor. Now I'll choose the swap option from the menu. So now I'll upload my video. You can either drag and drop it in this box or click to open your files. Now that it's processed, you'll see the selection screen where I click on the subject I want to replace. In this case, the walking man. The AI automatically highlights him, but I can refine the selection if needed. This looks good, so I'll hit confirm. Now I'll upload my image of the astronaut by clicking upload image. In the prompt box, I'll write, replace the man walking with the astronaut from the reference photo. Now I'll hit generate. And look at that. The AI has perfectly swapped the man with the astronaut and it maintains the walk cycle, shadows and lighting. This is absolutely insane. Now let's try the add function. I've got this clip of a dark alley and I want to add something cool to bring the scene to life. Like a lone cyborg with a glowing red eye walking along the street. Back in the multi-elements editor, I'll select add this time and upload the video. Then I'll upload an image of the cyborg I want to insert. In the prompt box, I'll write, using the context of the reference video, seamlessly add cyborg from image one, walking in the scene, and hit generate. And Kling added the cyborg right where it should be. The lighting matches, shadows are correct, and the result looks natural and cinematic. Finally, let's try the delete function. I've got a video of a man looking at this massive robot dog, so let's try to remove that dog. I'll go back to the editor and choose delete, then upload my reference video. I'll click on the dog to make my selection, hit confirm, and in the prompt box, I'll type, delete the dog from reference video and hit generate. The result is really impressive. Kling doesn't just remove the dog, it rebuilds the background, filling in lighting and textures like it was never there. You should always be specific in your prompts. Kling will give you a reference prompt depending on your selection, but be even more detailed if you can. So instead of saying swap the character, say replace the man walking with the astronaut from the reference photo. That kind of detail gives you way better results and use high quality reference images with clean backgrounds. The AI has an easier time understanding your image if it's not cluttered with other elements. Ideally, use images with transparent backgrounds or simple solid color backgrounds. It's also very important to take your time with selections. When choosing what to swap or delete, be precise with your selection. It's worth spending an extra minute getting the selection perfect, rather than rushing and getting poor results. Keep in mind that you'll probably have to generate multiple versions. Sometimes the AI might misunderstand what you want or create weird objects, but don't get discouraged. Just try again with a slightly different prompt or selection. And finally, remember that this feature uses Kling 1.6, not the newer 2.0 model. The platform will automatically switch to 1.6 when you access multi-elements. So don't be confused when you see the model change. Each model has different strengths and 1.6 is currently optimized for this specific feature. Now each multi-elements editor operation uses 50 credits, which is more than standard video generation. However, considering how amazing it is, it's absolutely worth it. I've also found that while you can technically use multiple images with the add function, you'll get better results by adding one element at a time. If you want to add multiple objects, it's better to do them in separate operations. 
using the output of each step as the input for the next. The multi-elements editor is truly one of the most powerful features I've seen in any AI video platform. While it's not perfect, you will occasionally see some weird objects or glitches. It delivers results that would take hours or even be impossible in traditional editing software. But there are a few more features that came out with this update. Let me break them down for you. First is the model upgrade on Kling 2.0. This is their latest comprehensive upgrade with three major improvements. The enhanced prompt adherence means better response to actions and camera movements. You'll also notice better dynamics with more complex motions and natural realistic speed. And finally, improved visual aesthetics with cinematic visuals, better style consistency and rich details. I tested this by creating a video of a black panther in the wild lunging at a prey. You can clearly see the difference between models 1.6 and 2.0. Let me show you another quick example that demonstrates the improved dynamics. I prompted both models to create this exact scene. A red racing car blazing past rivals on the track, motion blur trailing behind. Camera locked on the car as it surges forward, crowd and opponents fading into the background. With Kling 1.6, the movement was decent but somewhat stiff, and the camera tracking wasn't perfect, but with Kling 2.0 it is absolutely amazing. Second, they've introduced Colors 2.0, their upgraded image model. It gives you more control with significantly improved prompt adherence, higher quality with signature cinematic visuals, and more versatility with over 60 styles for all use cases. For this, I generated an image of a futuristic cityscape, and the level of detail is mind-blowing. The buildings have realistic textures, the lighting creates dramatic shadows, and the overall composition is absolutely insane. Here's another quick example showing its versatility. I prompted it to create a close-up portrait of a weathered fishing droid holding a rod by a foggy alien lake with dramatic side lighting, photorealistic style. The detail is incredible. You can see damage on the metal, scratches from years of use, and the lighting adds so much cinematic depth. And third, they've added new image features, including image editing and restyle capabilities. You can upload an image, enter style description prompts, and transform it with one click. I tried this with a photo of a landscape I generated. I uploaded it and used the restyle feature to transform it into a sunset scene. The AI perfectly adjusted the lighting, added orange and purple hues to the sky, and the sun is just super realistic. Let me show you one more quick example of the image editing capabilities. I generated an image of a standard industrial workspace and wanted to see how it would look with a full sci-fi overhaul. I uploaded it and used the restyle feature with the prompt. Transform into a high-tech robotics lab with neon lighting, advanced machinery, and futuristic interfaces. The result is incredible. Kling kept the layout of the room intact, but completely reimagined the space. I've been testing Kling 2.0 extensively, and the difference is immediately noticeable. The motion is smoother, the lighting is more realistic, and the overall quality feels much more professional. If you want to try this yourself, I'll leave a link in the description where you can access Kling. Let me know in the comments what creative projects you plan on using this for. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.